Hey, good morning, princess. Give daddy a hug. Mm. How you doing, baby? You good? Okay, listen. Breakfast is super ready, okay? Hope you're not hungry. You good? You know how you prove that you're good? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Mm, love you. Go wait on breakfast, okay? The chef is done. What do you say to Mr. Chef? Thank you, Mr. Chef. Thank you, my princess. I love you very much. And Mr. Chef will do absolutely anything for you. Mm -hmm. All right, eat up. Doctor, I will soon be here, okay? So hurry. Again? Yes, again. But you said you were going to take me for my birthday shopping. Then you will not take me to the amusement park today. And we're also going to do all of that. And even more, I promise, you have my word, okay? First of all, you eat your food, you drink your water, you go upstairs, you shower, you dress up, you come down, we go have all the fun in the world after you see Dr. Adam, okay? Okay. All right, baby, love you, eat. No, take a bite and tell me what you think. I Googled this. <laughs> Why that face? Wait, is it hard? Yeah. Hey, mom. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. She's super excited, you know. <laughs> uh, actually, I have no idea, you know. Whatever Susan wants. Yes. Um, yes, of course, of course. I'll send you pictures. <laughs> yeah, in two weeks. Yes. Um, she's with her downstairs right now. No, no, no. They are making progress. Okay. All right, talk to you later. I love you. Love you. All right, bye. So is there any other thing you'd like to tell me about? Hmm? Hey, guys. Hello. <laughs> How's it going? Well, we're about rounding up. Oh, okay. Did she tell you about the new friend she made at school? Susan, you didn't tell me that. We didn't ask. I thought we were buddies and we'd tell each other everything. Uh, can we just go to the supermarket? Oh, uh, yes. It's her birthday in two weeks. So she's super excited. We're going shopping today. Yeah, I know that. That's why I brought her a little something. You did? Yes. Oh, that's so nice. Happy birthday, Susan. Why don't you say thank you? So cute. Good girl. Why don't you open it and see what's inside? I'll open it when I get back. Let's go, Daddy. Wait, Susan. Daddy, there are a lot of things that I want you to buy for my birthday. Okay, you know what? Why don't you go away by the car? I'll join you soon, okay? Okay. All right. Yeah, no, I'm sorry about this, okay? I'm really, really sorry about that. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm used to her already. Yeah. Well, she likes you. You know, she's really into you. So don't let that fool you, you know? It's okay, I know. I'm a therapist. I'm trying to, you know, get a glimpse of her mind. She's just confused. Yeah, well, thank you so much for understanding. You know, that means a lot. It's okay. Susan is a sweetheart. I love her. So it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. okay. So any developments? Any? <sighs> We're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah? Yes, we are. All right. All right. All right. Thank I'll you. I'll see you guys. Yeah. Bye. All right. Baby, why were you giving Dr. Ada a bad attitude? Huh? Why were you being so bratty with Dr. Ada? She's always asking me questions and I don't like it. Yeah, but she's only trying to help you. Help with what? <sighs> Baby, she's a psychologist, okay? And she's just looking out for you. But I have you to look out for me. And you will always have me looking out for you. Forever. 
okay? But that's what makes you a princess. You see, there are loads of people that love you and want to look out for you, okay? So stop being bratty and hostile towards Dr. Ada. But I'm not being hostile. I just don't like her. Well, she's not going anywhere anytime soon, baby, okay? So you better start being nice. You hear? I love you. Come back here. Hey, Susan. Susan, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. I'm so sorry about this. Susan, stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry about this. Man, I'm going to go home with her. Stop moving your legs. You're going to hurt yourself. You're going to hurt yourself. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. I'm so sorry. Stop crying, okay? Why is just baby? Stop being down, okay? It's okay. I'm I here with my you. mommy, baby. She can't come right now, okay? Mommy can't come right now. Please just brighten up so we can go to the amusement park, right? Don't you want to go to the amusement park again? No, what do you mean? No, you've been talking to me about the amusement park for weeks now, baby. Come on, brighten up. You know, I love you, huh? Baby. Baby, come on. Baby, you don't want to look at me. Baby, stop crying. No, now, it's all. No, now, what's this? Hey, babe. Oh. What? Ask this ball now. Babe. Yes, darling. Oh. You wouldn't believe what happened to me today. What happened? I was coming out of the supermarket when this kid ran up from nowhere, hugged me, calling me mom. And then her dad came and pulled her away from me. She kept crying, screaming, please go home with us. Don't leave mommy, don't leave mommy. It was, it was, it was weird. This is, this is funny. Baby, it's not funny. It's not. I'm trying to understand why that kid would call me mom. And, and, and where, where could her mom be? How old is this, um, how old is this girl? Um. Around um, six, seven. Six, seven. Well, maybe you have a child somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Or the universe is trying to tell you it's high time we got married oh. and stop making babies. Babe, 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 this is. <laughs> you need to be there. You needed to have seen things yourself. It was crazy. And moreover, we're getting married July. Okay. There you go. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
But I mean, on the contrary, how about we move it closer? No, no, no. Yes, no. yes. Listen, listen, no. listen, listen to me. I mean, we practically live together. So what's the big deal? I mean, come on, darling. No, no, babe. You know, I just got promoted. And getting married now is going to be a lot of work and responsibility for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. I know. There we go again. Well, it's fine. It's fine. July, it's not. Thank you, babe. Well, babe, seriously, I can't get it off my head. Why? Why was that girl calling me her mom? Trust me, she. It was. It was like. Did, did you did you bother to ask the father? No, I I, I didn't get a chance to. But anyway, if, if by any miracle I run into them next time, I, I, I'd like to know. Uh, uh, uh. There wouldn't be such miracle. Hmm. A star. I mean, I know you get when you're keen on something. Please, just let it slide, okay? We start getting obsessed about this girl. She was so pretty. Hold up. Just stop. How did it go? Mm. Don't change the topic. Don't. Don't try to do Hi. that. <laughs> Don't. Would you allow me to watch me? Susan, stop, please. Come on, we have to talk, okay? What are you doing? Let's talk, babe. Babe, come on. I don't know why he keeps lying to me. I'm not lying to you, okay? I'm, I'm not, I'm not lying. Okay? Baby? You told me mommy left. And we saw her, you'd, and you didn't invite her to come home with us. Why? Sweetie, baby, listen. Daddy, I just want mommy, I just want mommy. You say I can have anything for my birthday wish, right? I want mommy to come home. Come here. Come here. I love you so much. You're my world. Chef is done. What do you say to Mr. Chef? Thank you, Mr. Chef. Thank you, my princess. Mr. Chef will do anything for you because he loves you very much. Mm -hmm. Daddy? Yes, dear. Eat your food, okay, so you won't be late for school. Will you be going to the supermarket? Why did you ask? Because the last time when we went to the supermarket, you didn't get anything. And there's no more cocoa puffs. 
Well, you remember the last time I went to the supermarket was a bit dramatic. I'm sorry. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Look at me. I'll go to the supermarket and I'll buy groceries. I'll buy Cocoa Pops and different kinds of cereal for you, okay? Yeah. Maybe you could be getting my birthday cake. Baby, your birthday is like weeks away. We'll get a cake then, okay? Right now, I need to go get ready, okay? Eat your food and drink a uh, water. Don't choke her. Hi. Oh, it's you. Yeah, I'm so glad I ran into you. Yeah. Because you know, I really wanted to apologize for what happened the other day. You know, Susie was way out of line. It's She's nothing. Like, Come on. She's just a child. A cute one at that. Thank you. So I'm not angry. I really appreciate you. Thank it's you so nothing. much. It means a lot. Yeah. You know. So where is she? She didn't come with you today. No, no. You know, she has school, so she couldn't come. You know. Oh, but I didn't want to take much of your time. I just want to say I apologize for what happened the other day. It's fine. Trust me, it's okay. Thank you. Uh, can I ask you something? Yeah, sure, of course. Okay, um, where is her mom? I mean, why would a woman leave her child? I go home that day wondering what happened. Why she would leave such a cute little girl. I I'm sorry if I'm praying too no, much. No, 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 you're asking the right questions. You know, with the way she accosted you that day, yeah. it's only normal you want yeah, to know why yeah, she yeah. thinks you're her mom. Yeah, you know? it was... Well, I totally understand. Yeah. Um, well, two years ago, uh, I lost my wife to a car accident. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was, um, I was at the office when I got a call from the police. And um, they said that uh, Lillian and Susan were involved in an accident. What? Yeah, apparently a truck ran them off the road. Um, the impact on Lillian's part was extensive, you know, because that's where the truck, the truck, uh, that's where the truck hit. Um, so she passed away on the spot. Oh, I'm so sorry. That must have been a very devastating one for you. It was. It is. Susan, on the other hand, uh, was sitting in the back seat and she was strapped up. So the impact wasn't much. Um, you know, no major injuries, no broken bones. Except for the fact that she can't remember the accident. What? Yeah, well, when she woke up, um, last thing she remembered, apparently when she was playing in school, I think she had, like, she fell or something. That was the last thing she could remember. Oh. And, um, have you tried explaining things to her? Well, the doctor said it's not a good idea. But she's going through trauma, you know, from the... Yeah. ...event, unfortunate event. Um, and she goes through this phases. She throws tantrums. She passes out when oh. she feels overwhelmed and, like, exhausted. Oh. So we did a brain scan, and... Um, Turns out her brain was a bit impacted, a little bit. What? Yeah. Uh, she, she, uh, so they said she has a memory loss, oh. but it's short term, short term, short term. But it's been two years and she still can't remember. Ah. I'm so sorry. I'm so 
so sorry. Thank you. Yeah. You know. So, why did you tell her her mom is? I told her her mom traveled. For two years? Yeah, like that was the only thing I could think of at the time, you know? I mean, she put me on the spot. Yeah. brings me to the question. Why does she think I'm her mom? shocked too, you know, that day, because I was there when the Lord ran into the ground and I still can't believe she's gone. And you look like her a yeah. lot. Yeah. So it makes sense why Susan would think you were a lady. Hey, now I understand better. That's striking resemblance. Striking resemblance. So, do you have any homework? Yeah. They give you homework? Yes. Yeah. Okay, why don't you go upstairs and do that, freshen up, and I'll prepare dinner, okay? Dad? Yes, dear. Did you see her? See whom? You went to the supermarket, didn't you? Yes. Did you see mom? Susan, come on. Why would you. Daddy, please tell me. I... Oh, yes, I saw her, okay? You see? Daddy, please let mom come back home. Susan, baby, she's not your mother, okay? You're lying! I'm not lying, just keep your voice down, baby. Don't try to tell me to get my voice down! Okay, just hear me out, baby, hear me I out. I can't okay? say, hear anything you want to say. Okay, 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 that's enough, that's enough. Go upstairs. Shower, do your homework, come down and eat, okay? Hey! Susan! Hey! 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 Hey, are you okay? Hey! Hey! Come on! Hey, babe! Yes, babe? Um, I thought I asked you to help me get shaving stick from the supermarket. I didn't know. I think it should be in the back downstairs. Let me get go. Oh, it's all right. Don't worry. I will go get them myself. Let me just... Uh, yes. Babe! Babe! Yes? Guess what I said today. Oh, please. Well, don't tell me you saw your very good daughter again. Her dad. Really? Yes. Surprising, right? Well, it's so coincidental. You know, I'm beginning to think that the universe is trying to put this whole thing up. What's going on, Mister? Um, as the time wants What? You tell me. I mean, take a look at your face. Look at your face. You're so excited. What's going on? I don't understand. I asked him why the child feels I am her mother. Esther! But I thought we spoke about this! Yes, but... But what? But what? I mean, that's the problem. You don't listen. You never do. Can you calm down? No, 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 don't, 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 just don't go there. Don't tell him to calm down. Don't! I want you not to get yourself involved in, in, in their lives. But what did you end up doing? 
exactly what you want. Also, you have not even heard from me and you are overreacting. And that's because I know you too well, Esther. I do. I mean, I know how upset you get over something. No, you don't. If you think you know me because of this whole thing, then you do not know me, Uzo. Oh, really? Really? But I know for a fact that that, 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 that guy, uh, the, the father, is single and possibly looking for someone to take care of his daughter. Well, you are right. He's a single man who lost his beautiful wife in a car accident. Left with a kid who has no memory of the accident, doesn't been in the car with the mom. Such a delicate little girl. So before you point a finger out that mom for being a father, maybe you should search deep down your conscience and tell me if you feel no other of pity for them. And for your information, Uzo, that girl calls me mother because I look exactly like her late mom. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, I don't always like getting or seeing you get upset. No. I'm sorry. Come on, look at me now. Come on, I'm sorry. So does that mean you don't think it's a bad idea talking to him? That's not what I mean. Let's just forget this. Let's drop it, please. We've had enough of this talk. Sure Listen, babe, that girl has been through a lot. I wouldn't have known if I hadn't had lunch with her father. She's been through so much. Wait, wait, wait. Just hold on. You had lunch with him? Yeah. It was just a mess it out. What do you mean by mess it out? Do you have an idea of what you're doing? Do you have an idea of what you're getting yourself involved in? You're getting yourself involved in their lives. A girl who thinks that you are a mother, apparently her mother is dead. At what point would you tell her you're not? Wait, 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 not that I went on some weekend abundant with them. 
But I, uh, so you know what? Let's just drop this, okay? Let's just drop this, okay? I, I don't want to talk about it. Please. Is that my phone? Yeah, you had, um, you, know, you kept beeping out. Um, let me get you something to drink, okay? Please. It's a cold out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll be right back. Ah! Hello. Hello. Hi, I'm Anthony. Uh, we met. We met uh, earlier. Oh, hi. How are you? Hi. Um. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm calling you by the time of the night. You know, it's it's. Uh, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, no, it's okay. It's fine. I hope there's no problem. Um. Yeah. You know. I mean, I don't know if you'll be okay with uh. Come and have dinner with us tomorrow. I know I shouldn't be asking this, uh, but you know, I know I said I had everything under control. But Susan, um, Susan fainted this evening. What? How? I hope she's fine. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, she's okay, you know, but. You know, she throws these tantrums when she wants something. The doctor said it's her way of dealing with the trauma. Um, she's been going off, you know, she just won't stop until she sees you, you know. So I, I, I don't know if what I'm asking is too much. Um, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow then. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Uh, what was that? It's, uh, Bola. I mean, she sounds so scared. She said her mom is really very sick. Oh, my goodness. I hope it's not uh, something too serious. I, we didn't know. We didn't know. We didn't know until I get there tomorrow because she wants me to go with her to see her mom tomorrow. Well, so that everything will be fine, okay? Everything will be fine. You don't need to get yourself out. Oh, poor woman. It's all right. She's sick again. It's okay. It's okay. I was going to ask what you wanted. Your favorite is not in the fridge. No, I'm not in the mood for that. Come on. Mm -hmm. This is not spoiling your mood. It's all right, darling. It's okay. Well, I am of the opinion that you don't hide things from the man you're about to walk down the aisle with. Babe, come on. I'm not hiding anything. I'm just not telling him. What's the difference? You know Uzo. I know Uzo. And one thing we know about Uzo is that he does not like deceit. You know that. And you think I'm deceiving him? Well, pretending to be who you're not. Girl, I'm, I'm not pretending, girl. I'm not. Really? Yes, I'm just trying to help the poor girl and her father. And if you think that is pretense, well, fine for you. But do not stand there and make me look like a bad person. Okay. I'm not. Fine, fine, fine. Since you obviously know what you're doing. Yeah, I do. Moreover, Uzo made his stance clear from the on start when I told him about these people. And he did the same last night. So how do you expect me to tell him anything else? Babe, this little girl has no recollection of... I know, and you felt pity for them. You know what? Forget it. You're just like Uzo. You believe whatever you want to believe and think whatever you want to think. It's okay. I won't talk about it anymore. You've made your arguments fine. It's all right. But just do me one favor. Be careful. Be careful. <laughs> careful about what? Why A are you seven just year old? being defensive, babe? Okay. I will. Be careful. Thank you. And I know you love me. <laughs> Who loves you? I beg, I beg, I beg. Just don't use my name for cover up next time. I don't like uh... it. I pledge to that. Oh yeah, come and be useful. I need to buy something for my boyfriend. I'm confused now. You've, I've been walking around. I don't know what to pick. Eh? No, you need me. Please, I don't even know what you like. Everyone needs me though. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm trying to wear the best clothes I can wear. You want to wear the best? Wait, don't tell me you're getting dressed. 
Susan, you look beautiful already. You look good already. What are you doing? You don't have to do all this. Are you sure this is the best clothes that I can wear? Come here. Come here. It's not about the clothes, okay? It's about you. Any clothes you wear will look beautiful. Because you are beautiful. You're a princess. Okay? Thank you, but can I at least change? <laughs> come here, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> All right, you don't have to change. You don't have to change. You still want to change. You want to change. Why do you want to change? Hi. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for for coming. You know, it means a lot. <laughs> So you yeah, was to come. Yeah. So, where is that cute little princess? Well, let's hope she's decided on what to wear. <laughs> I know, she's so excited. Really? <laughs> yeah, she is. Um, nice place. Thank you, thank you. Please, feel at home. Sorry, may I? Uh, yeah, sure, of course. She's beautiful. And so are you. Thank you. Of course. I'm not flattering you, I'm just being honest. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah. Please, why don't you sit down? Let me go call her. Oh, okay. She was so excited. Thank you. Yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna head upstairs. Okay. You slow down, okay? She just got here. Yeah? Why don't you go help us set the table? Okay. Thank you. I am. Um, that was awkward. I'm so sorry. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, let me go help us set the table. I could help. No, 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 no. You're a guest. Please just sit down and relax, okay? Okay. Thank you for offering, though. That's fine. <laughs> Enjoying the food. Sure, so delicious. <laughs> Would you like some more? Oh no, thank you. What about you, princess? Do you want more? No, Dad. I'm so full. I feel like an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> you have your way with words. Yeah, she does. She does. <laughs> like, can I just go watch TV? Of course you can. Will you join me, Mom? Sure. So why don't you go and I join you? Okay. Hey, 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 come back here, come back here, come back here, come back here. Let's do it. Eh, eh. All right, go watch your movie. <laughs> ah. She's so dirty. Yeah, she is. she is. But she can be a menace when she wants to. Though. And you love her like that. I love her more than I love myself. I can see that. <laughs> no, thank you once again for coming. It means a lot. It's nothing. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. What are 
are we watching? So, how's work? Just the usual. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You know, trying to build a career here can be so trendy. Yeah, tell me about it. You know, even trying to build something of your own is just is difficult. You know, yeah. it's just a mess. A colleague was sacked the other day because she tried to put her hand in the till. Mm. Her child was critically ill and she was desperate. Well... Poor her, but that's still no excuse to still, you know? Yeah. On one hand, I feel pity for her. On the other hand, no. Still is still in right. Yeah, well, unfortunately, now she gets to get another job. Yeah. I should go lay her on the bed. Oh. So she has tired herself out. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Don't, don't bother yourself. I'll, I'll do it. No, 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 no. I'm happy doing it. It's fine. <laughs> You were asleep. Can you send me a number by? It will make me sleep better. Okay. Sarah, what do you want me to sing for you? Yeah, my sunshine. I really appreciate this. Oh, come on, it's nothing. It's actually an experience. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I should get going. Uh okay, sure. I'll um I'll walk you to your car. Oh no. I'm good. Besides, you shouldn't leave a sleeping child all alone. Uh yeah, but you know, I'm literally it's just It's nothing, Mr. Antonio. I'm fine. Good night. Oh. Okay. Alright, good night. Good night. Yes. So, how are you? Fine. Anything new happen in school? Nothing. Anybody bully you? Okay, so what about the house? Anything new happen at home? My mom came. <laughs> your mom? What do you mean by your mom came? She came for dinner. She came, but she said she's going to come back. Your mom came for dinner? Yes. Um, can you do something for me, sweetheart? What is it? Go upstairs, call your dad, and stay in your room, okay? Okay. I don't have to play with my dolls anyways. Okay. Thank you. How are you doing? Um, Susie said I wanted to sing. Yeah, please, can you sit for a bit? Yeah? Yes. Uh, is there any news, any improvements? 
Um, Susan thinks her mom came to have dinner with you guys and she'll be coming back to visit. Her mom? <laughs> oh. What's funny? Well, um, Susan's mom, well, Lillian's lookalike, Esther, took a, a liking to uh, Susan and uh, we invited her over for dinner, you know, just to make Susie happy. That's pretty much it. What? Do you realize what you did just took us back a lot? I mean, I'm trying to make your daughter come to terms with the situation of things with her mom and you and this woman, her mom's supposed to look alike, did this. Do you know you're making my efforts seem useless? Totally understand what you're saying. It's just that Susan was making a great fuss. I just wanted to. I'm sorry it. to cut you, Mr. Anthony. You employed me to work on your daughter's mental health. If you want me to do that, then I am going to have to be the only one making the decisions. If not, she's not going to get better. Hello. Hello, Esther. Uh, how are you doing? I'm okay. How are you guys over there? Yeah, you know, we're okay. Yeah, but can I disturb you for something? Sure. What is it? It's almost Susan's birthday and I'm a very bad planner. Um, I need someone with eyes for details to help me plan it. Oh, of course. That's no hassle at all. Your God sense, I swear. Uh, I'll let you know about the date, okay? Okay, that's fine. Say hi to Susan for me and tell her I said she should be a good girl. I will, definitely. Bye. Please to ride one here. Mom, please, I want to be a ranch girl. Where did you learn that word, ranch girl? TV. Can I have one, Dad? No, you can't have one, okay? You need to speak any other thing that's more reasonable. The what? Mom, you mm -hmm. want to divorce Daddy. Is that why you left us? Um, um. Baby, you don't ask questions like that, okay? But no. please, I want to know, or is it because of me you left? Of course not. Why would I want to leave an angel like you? Then come back. You know what? Let's talk about the party. Yes. Later, any other thing can come. Daddy, you can't be in charge because you make mistakes. <gasps> you hurt me. Hmm. That hurts so much. Drama King. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? She's a girl. So how do you want it? Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so very much. You know, you don't have to actually. You know, thank you so much. You're um, welcome. On behalf of Susan and I, I'd like to say. We appreciate your efforts, and you mean a lot to us. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, can I ask you something? Yeah, sure, of course. Hope you don't mind. No, no, no. Okay. Why didn't you remarry? <sighs> uh, well, I guess I don't want anyone coming in and maltreating my baby. Oh. You know? I mean, I want to raise her with all the love and care she deserves. I see. You must have been a tough one raising her all by yourself. Well, you know, we're doing okay up until you came along, you know. <laughs> it was her and I against the world. And you did great. Yeah, yeah. But you know, we had our perfect little world and we had everything. 
until you came and we realized oh. we were missing something. Oh, please, don't flatter me. I'm not flattering you. I mean every single word I'm saying. Okay, <laughs> you're like a mother figure to her. And every time you keep me company, it makes my day. Probably week. Makes my week. <laughs> Seriously. Well, thank you. And I'm glad I could be of help, even though I haven't done much. No, you've done a lot. Okay, you're a role model to my daughter. And you're a great woman. You know, you're someone, the perfect person that Susan can look up to, you know, and <laughs> you make me happy every time you come over. <laughs> you know, I just, I really appreciate you. It, time. Time? How he runs. <laughs> I need to get going. Oh. So you stay safe, you Susan. Yeah. I, I'll, 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 I'm always just a phone call away. Yeah. Yeah, I need to get going. Okay, let me just walk you out. Oh, that's fine. Mommy? Mommy, where are you? Mommy, I'm inside the kitchen. Inside the dining? Mommy, where are you? Mom, did you leave me again? <laughs> Babe. Susan, why are you crying? What's wrong? You left us again. No. Come here, come here, come here. Mom didn't leave you, okay? Um. She'll be back, I promise. Okay? Okay? Take my word for it. All right. I'll be sad, okay? No, she'll be back, I promise. I promise. It's okay. It's okay. Let's go upstairs, okay? You good? Are you my little superwoman? Don't look at me. Are you my superwoman? Yes. All right. You got to prove it. Hey. Hey. Love you, baby. Just come in. Okay? Let's go upstairs. Anything you would like to tell me? What do you mean? I, I don't understand. Well, there's nothing to tell. Okay, if you say so. Well, I'll be hanging out with the boys and uh, I'll be coming pretty late. No need waiting up for me, all right? Okay? Babe. Yeah? Did I do something bad? I didn't say anything like that. I'm not mad at you. All I just said was that I'll be hanging out with the boys and there's no need for you waking up for me, okay? I'll be fine, all right? <laughs> Thank you. 
Hello, Bona. I do. How you doing now? Oh, your stuff, right? Oh no, sure, I'm, co I'm coming. I'm coming. I don't know, he just keeps asking strange questions. I don't understand him. Are you for real? Please don't even go there. Drop it. Thank you. See you later. Why was Uza that way? And I haven't done anything wrong. Anthony? Hey. Hi, is she? Yeah. Did, did you get medical opinion? You know, when she woke up, I didn't see you. She threw a serious tantrum, you know? It took ages to calm her down. No, she has a headache and um, fever. So how is she now? Well, she took her medication. You know, she's sleeping right now. <sighs> Can I see her? Yeah, sure, of course. She's in her room right now. Okay. Thank you. I'll be with you, Shabby. Sure. Yeah. sure. She's still sleeping. She's still sleeping. Actually, she looks good. But if anything changes, please let me know. No, I will. Thank you very much. You know, really appreciate you. You're Thanks. one of the good people we know. Oh, don't flatter me. I'm not flattering you. I mean every single word I'm saying, honestly. Thank you. You're welcome. I should get going. No. Uh, I mean, why don't you stay for the night for her? You know? Oh. Please. No. I didn't plan sleeping out. I totally understand. But if she wakes up and she doesn't see you, goes off again, I don't know what I'll do, honestly. Oh, come on. You're doing a good job. It's just that please, you... Please, please, I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Like, I would kneel down if you want me to. So. Oh. Seriously, because I don't know what I'll do. She would just... Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Please, have a seat. But I didn't, I didn't, I didn't really. Thank you so much for doing this. This means a whole lot to us. Thank you. Yeah. Well, uh, oh, just didn't plan on. I know, but thank you so much. You know, we really appreciate you. You're an angel. Thank you. Oh, I should be thank you. Talking about her. Yeah? Don't you think you should tell her the truth? Because she will eventually find out when she grows up. And this whole thing will blow up on our faces. It will be a hard one for her. I don't know. I don't know. But... If 
we made it a reality. We don't have to worry about that. I need to make a call, please. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, let me go check up on Susie. Oh, yeah, sure. Hello. Yeah, we. I um. I went to see Bola, and she wants me to stay over. She's not feeling too strong. Hello. Are you there? Thank you for understanding. Bye, babe. Sit hard, <laughs> baby. Mm. How are you? And where are you coming from? Sorry? Answer me, where are you coming from? I I don't get it. I told you I went to see Bola and, and slept over because she was sick. Yeah, sure you did. Except for the fact that you forgot to tell me that nightclubs now admit sick people. Oh, you're shocked? Well, I called Bola last night only to realize that she was at the club. The idiot tried to cover up for you but couldn't anymore when I requested to speak with you. So, this is truly who you are? So you don't leave the house to go sleep around with men? Excuse me? What? You heard me. You know I would never do such a thing. Oh, you really? know that. Really? Talk to me. Try to convince me otherwise. Hmm? Try to convince me otherwise. I said, you've changed of late. You now tell lies, you skip all sorts without considering how I feel. What is wrong with you? I went to see Anthony. Oh, goodness. Figure out. And Susan. Figure out as much. I went to help him take care of his child. Yes, but I warned you to stay away from that son. I warned you. I mean, what do you two have going on that, that made you spend the night there? And it's barely just two weeks that, that you got to know, 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 know this family. You, what is wrong with you, Esther? You're screaming. Uh, Esther, don't, 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 don't go there. Don't step on my last steps. Don't. Don't. Uza. Esther. You know I would never cheat on you, right? Oh, 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 oh please. I'm so sorry. I mean, you're something else, Esther. I thought I knew you, but obviously not. Obviously, you're obsessed with these people. Right from the very first time you saw them, you've been obsessed with them. And I told you, I wanted you to stay away from their lives, but you wouldn't listen to me. But you know what? I just told you. Hmm? Don't you allow you to do as you so please? You're sweating. Yes! Get her! Babe, I'm, I'm sorry. Nonsense. Ah! Mary, when is mommy coming to the house? Soon. We'll have a party for her. Why don't you get ready, okay, so we won't be late, okay? She can sleep in my room. <sighs> Listen, look at me, baby. Look at me. She has a whole life of her own, okay? She's doing other stuff. So just be happy seeing her every now and then. Is that okay? Oh, she prefer the guest room. You're smiling. Come here! Come here! 
You're doing it on purpose. Calm down. I fought with Uzo. Again? Over what? <sighs> I slept at Anthony's. Jesus. But I told him I was coming to you, please. And, and he said he called you. He told him I was not with you. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Was that why he was calling? Yes. <sighs> Babe. <sighs> We're going to figure it out. <laughs> what people have warned you? Those guys call you way too much. Are you jealous or something? <laughs> Mom, I don't know what to do. Take it easy. He's so mad at me. You just seen him. God, he was so freaking mad. I've never seen him like that in a long while. Are you serious? <laughs> It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We'll figure something out. Huh? It's okay, it's okay. <gasps> Babe. It's okay. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll think of something. Huh? It's okay, it's okay. understand what you're doing won't work, right? In any case, it will just worsen the situation. Excuse me. I am trying to make this little girl come to terms with everything that's happening around her. And you're here, waving fantasies in the air for her. You're not her mother. Of course I know I'm not her mother. But if pretending in a short while to make her happy will work, then I will do the little I can. 
The little you can is like that tiny stone in your shoes. It's like irritating. Excuse me? Are you so desperate for a man and a child that you thought this was the perfect way to have one? An already made family? You're insane! On the contrary, I seem to be the only sensible person in this house. Sweetheart, please just go back to wherever you came from and let this child heal from everything that is happening around her. Okay? You are ruining everything. Her nerves. You walk in here. Thinking you can talk to me? Like what? Listen up. You may be her doctor, but you should certainly know your place. Copy that? Get a natural life. Loser! your fiance I had no idea you had a fiance and you assumed I don't my relationship is on the rocks and I'm still trying to be a good person here and still getting insulted and you've been very helpful honestly I don't believe that what you've been doing has been not helpful it's been very helpful honestly you know it's just that I, I, I never knew you had I a man be here. excuse me please you should have probably told me What's the matter? It's nothing. Come on. You're not looking good. I'm okay. Esther, talk to me. What's the matter? Sweetheart, what is it? I had a confrontation with the girls' therapist. Uh, and? Her words hurt. I think it's because she's close to the truth. 
And what did she say? The little you can is like that tiny stone in your shoes. It's like irritating. Excuse me? Are you so desperate for a man and a child that you thought this was the perfect way to have one? An already made family? You're insane! On the contrary, I seem to be the only sensible person in this house. Sweetheart, please just go back to wherever you came from and let this child heal from everything that is happening around her. Okay? You're ruining everything. I feel awful. Wow. I yelled at Anthony and, and blamed him before I left. Oh. I see. Wow. Uh, well. He should understand. Look, sweetheart. And um, as for the therapist, in my own opinion, I think she might be right. Come on, darling. Listen to me, sweetheart. Well, except for the fact that our presentation didn't go down well. It was absolutely, you know, you don't know. We don't need to look for it, okay? It's all right, Dad. It's okay. It's all right. Hmm? It's okay. Thank you. What are you thanking me for? I really miss this. Especially your support. And you're not mad I went to the party. Of course not. I mean, why should I? Look, if you didn't go to the party, it would have been a sad day for that little girl. Hmm? And yes, I know you. I know what you might also be thinking that uh, you're obsessed with this family. Oh, well, to be candid with you, I think um, you're a goal-getter. You know what you want. And you've gone after it. No matter what. Come what may. Hmm? You've got a good heart, too. Hmm? It's all right, Thank you. <laughs> it's all right, Where's this person disturbing you? Oh, let's go upstairs, all right? Check. The messages might be important. Thank you, babe. It's alright, darling. What do you like to eat? <laughs> Who is this person? Anything is, is Bola. She's always texting you, you and all that. I don't know what she's saying. <laughs> what should, should I get you something to drink? Or a cup of wine. Alright. Daddy, when is mommy coming back home? She's not. But why? Baby, please, not right now. Okay, I'm just trying to rest. Why don't you go to your room and play with your toys? I hate you. Never let me see more. How are you feeling today? How are your friends in school? Sweetie, don't you want to talk to me? I want to talk to my mommy. 
Your mom? I want to talk to my mommy. Listen. Susan, listen. What's going on? I don't know. She was just screaming that she wants to talk to her mommy. Did, so did something happen? No. Are you sure? Because this is a setback. You sure nothing happened? No, nothing, nothing, no. Okay, so if you notice anything, anything at all, yeah. you have to let me know so I'll know how to deal with it. Because this was the reason I told you I did not want that lady coming here and playing her mommy. Uh, well, nothing, nothing happened. You know, it's my recollection. But I, I'm going to study the situation. If I find out anything, I'll definitely let you know. Fine. This is a setback. A major one. Please, just let me know if anything happens. No, for sure. For sure. Hello, Esther. How are you doing? Uh, well, Susan has been missing me like crazy. You know, she's been crying and she just won't stop crying. Can I ask you a favor, please? That's actually why I called. Um, could you please, please come see her? Even if it's for the last time, please. Thank you. I would, it would mean the world to me, but even more importantly, it would mean the world to her. Yeah? Thank you. I would really, really appreciate it. All right. Take care. Calls from him. No. What do you mean, no? We haven't even spoken since then. He just called out of the blue. He just called out of the blue. And what does he want this time around? What? Well, he said Susie has been throwing tantrums and being difficult. And he asked if I could pay her a visit one last time. I mean, does it mean that this, this man cannot take care of his child? I mean, why would they let you leave here alone? When? What's the meaning of all of this? Babe, can you just calm down? I think he just wants me to come help calm her down or something. To help calm her down as, as what? Don't tell me as what? <laughs> so are you going? I understand. I mean, I understand your silence. And I, and I know the answer. Get it. But this time around, I have put in my foot on the ground. Yes! Enough of this shenanigans. What's the meaning of all this nonsense? It's either you choose between me or them. Yes, you had me right. You had me right. And trust me, should you go back there, I take it to me that you've chosen them over me. What nonsense! No, I, I, how can't he just handle his own child himself? to apologize, you know, I'm really sorry uh, It's that. okay. Anything for Susie. Thank you so much. So where is she? She's upstairs. Oh. Thank you once again. Mm.
say that he only gave you an option. <laughs> huh? Babe, I used to tell this your goody to shoes attitude. This will put you in trouble. Eh? <laughs> huh? It's okay. <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? I love him so much. I know, I know you love him. Don't worry, okay? See, the Uzo I know is a good guy. Okay? And I'm sure he's just pissed and his ego is bruised. It's no more. I'm sure once he calms down, he'll come back. Yeah? I hope so. Yeah, he did not leave I you. Hope so. Take it easy now. Okay? So. It's okay. It's okay. Okay? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Eh? Okay. But see, you need to learn how to pay attention to the man standing next to you. And how to say no to these people to avoid problems like this. Stop crying now. It's okay. I've tried my best, but your actions keep pulling us back. I take a step forward and you and that woman pull us five steps backwards. Don't be ridiculous. Ridiculous? Yeah. Ridiculous is you allowing that woman undermine my job. Ridiculous is you using your daughter as an excuse to keep seeing that woman. Does she remind you of your dead wife? Hey, how dare you? First of all, you're my daughter's shrink, not mine. Okay, and don't you ever mention my wife again. Ever. But it's true. What's true? You sound jealous. What? Yeah, you sound jealous. That's what it is. You're just mad that I haven't looked at you the way you want me to. I don't, I'm not, listen, listen. You're deluded. No, 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 no. First of all, listen, I'm not into you like that. I'm sorry to break it to you. Okay, I hired you for your professional opinion and help. But seems like that was a bad idea because besides the fact that you couldn't get my attention, you're a horrible therapist. You suck at your job. How dare you? You brought up my wife. Come on! Come on! Come on. Hey, 
Everything is just falling apart. No. I don't even know what my face is. No, everything's going to be fine. I promise you. I promise <laughs> you. No, believe me, please. I hate to see you hurting. <laughs> everything is going to be okay. Believe me. <laughs> okay? Everything is going to be good. Oh, you wanted to help. I know. I didn't mean for things to go bad this way. I know. I know. I don't <laughs> No, what's that do? What do I do? Listen, listen. Oh. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Everything is going to be good. <laughs> Susan and I are standing with you. <laughs> we're in your corner. <laughs> it doesn't matter how long it takes. However long it takes, we're with you. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I was severely hurt. <laughs> to leave the house so I can cool off. I promised my fiance never to come here again. But I feel like also Susie one more good deed. Really? Yes. So if you would approve of it, I'd like to take her to our favorite places. Just the two of us. Yeah, no, sure, of course. Uh, thank you. Let me go get her ready. So you can, um, sure. yeah, okay. I 
see you love going out. Yes, but Dad hardly takes me out. Oh, don't worry. When he gets a chance to, he'll take you out. All right. Mom, can I sing me this song called Kisera Sera? Okay. Kisera Sera. Whatever will be, will be. Oh my goodness. What's that? I don't remember. The only thing I remember is that we were in the car singing and everything went black. And you can't recall anything? No. Can I go upstairs? I want to sleep. Of course you can go to bed. Of course. Alright. Take care of that. Watch your step, okay? Slow. How is she? She's doing good, you know, she's doing good. She's just a bit withdrawn, you know? But, uh, yeah, she's, she's fine. I'm so sorry I couldn't follow you both home. No, it's okay, it's okay. It's totally fine. Um, I think you should bring Ada back. Susan needs her. <clears throat> okay. 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 I think we're actually being selfish. We didn't think about the consequences of lying to those we love. We thought we were protecting them. Meanwhile, we're actually risking losing them. Please, Anthony, I would, I would like you to put your pride aside and think about your daughter's well-being first. She needs a professional help, someone she's already used to. I'll think about it for sure. I'll give it a thought. One more thing. I'll... I would like to remove myself from this situation. I do not want more problems with my fiance. And sincerely, I wish things work out for you. Thank you so much for everything you've done for us. You know, it's not lost on me. I really appreciate you and your efforts. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Drop your phone and eat. <laughs> I just did. Trust, trust me, this tastes good. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I'll be soon. Foodie. <laughs> mm. mm. Babe. Yes, darling. I was thinking we should move the wedding date. What do you mean? I mean, we should move it closer. No, silly. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just sure. I, I, I just cannot wait to be your wife. 
you know, to be Mrs. Ndukwe. <laughs> Tell me you're joking you now. I'm not. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. That's why you've been loading. Wait, 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 babe. Don't, my friend. It's, it's a joke, right? No. Oh, God, finally. <laughs> oh, goodness. This, this is the best news ever. Well, tell me. This is your best man. Uh, okay. First off, I'm really sorry. You know, I was out of pocket, I was out of place, I shouldn't have spoken to you the way I did. It was very wrong and it won't happen again. I'm really sorry. It's okay. I've forgiven you. If I haven't, I wouldn't have come when you called. Thank you so much. It's okay. And I'm sorry too. I crossed the boundary. No. Really oh, nah. Everything is forgiven. It's not an issue. I mean, Susan is a priority here, so I can't hold grudges, you know? Yeah, she is. And I'll only come back to being a therapist on one condition. Okay, what's, what's the condition? That I start by telling her the truth about her mother. Yes, uh, I've actually uh, decided to tell her, you know, so I will. Okay, so I'll take my leave so you have time to talk to her. Okay, thank you. Um, Anthony. I know I'm not your therapist, but I don't think you've gotten over your wife yet. That's why when Esther came along, you threw reasoning to the wind because she reminded you of Lillian. I know Lillian's death was painful, but you have to get over it. Esther isn't Lillian and she would never be. <sighs> You really need to stop giving Susan false hope. I guess you're right, you know. I guess you're right. It's just that for a second, everything seemed perfect, you know? And I just wanted it to stay that way. But I was selfish. I didn't think of the people that could hurt because of my actions. You're doing an amazing job raising Susan by yourself. You have exceeded all expectations. You're an amazing dad. And <laughs> you shouldn't for one minute think that there's anything wrong with your relationship with your daughter. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you're back. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. All right then. Ah, take my leave. Okay. All right then. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. Hey, madam. Could you spare me some of your time, please? Could you, um, you could hold on to it, but could you just focus for a second? Yeah? Um, there's something very important that I, <clears throat> I have to talk to you about. It's, it's about, um, mommy. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so, uh, maybe two years ago, you, my beautiful princess that I love so much. And mommy. Uh, got into an accident. And unfortunately, mommy, well, um, she, she, um, She died? Yes, she died. I'm so sorry. I should have told you, come here. I should have told you. You know how you said you're a very strong girl. You have strength enough for nations. You know that, right? You know that, right? Yes. I love you so much. Yeah. You're my superwoman. 
But can you visit it to Auntie Esther? Auntie Esther? Auntie Esther, yes. We can visit Auntie Esther. She's a family friend. Yes, we can. Are you saying to Nah, we gotta do the main thing. We gotta do the main thing. Hey! <clears throat> Okay, go back to the plane. Is Mr. Is he a good guy or a bad guy? Hey. What's up? I need to talk to you about something. Hey, mom yes. What's it? Anthony. Um, he called and uh, said Susie wants to come visit. Okay. Well, that's fine. It's not good. That's a lie. I don't think you thought. Anthony! That was quick! Oh. Sure, I'm listening. After the last time, I had a long talk with myself and I realized that you've done absolutely nothing wrong. I mean, all you did were of noble acts. I mean, for someone willing to sacrifice, I mean, her happiness and comfort for a little girl to be happy, that means and speaks. And that's the kind of virtue I want in a woman that I want to be tied with. Hmm? Yes, I was jealous and insecure. And that's because I have the most beautiful woman. <laughs> <laughs> but looking at the bigger picture, I realized that you did great. Yeah, you did. Super, super great. That's so sweet, babe. <laughs> I've been wanting to show you something. What? That's Lillian. Susie's mom. My look-alike. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Wow, you don't say. So now you see. The resemblance is out of this world. Yeah. Except for one major thing. And that's the fact that, uh, to be honest, she's very, very beautiful. You! <laughs> You're so mean. Okay, well, I'm just joking. Stop it. Yeah. Hey! Good day. Drop in. You're welcome. Yes, she knows. So. How are you? <laughs> My baby! Oh, thank you, thank you. How are you doing? It's good to have you here. <laughs> um, okay. I think it's appropriate that I apologize face to face. I'm really, really sorry. Because my selfishness caused problems. And for that, I apologize. I'm really, really sorry about that. Um, it's all right. To be candid, I understand it's sometimes difficult handling losses. You know, but, uh, yeah. I only wish I had handled things better, but it's all right. Me too. Alton, sorry if I made you uncomfortable calling you mommy. Oh, come on, darling. It's okay. It's okay, it's nothing. Can I come visit you sometimes? Sure! Uh, Anytime, <laughs> any day, you're welcome here. And you fry plantain for Okla and I. Uh -huh. Definitely. <laughs> because I know it's your favorite, so I will always do that for you. Alright? And... Uncle and I are getting married. I'll wear my princess dress. 
definitely. Oh, wow. And that's because you are a real life princess. Oh. Well, congratulations to both of you. You know, I'm really happy for Thank both you of you. So congratulations, you. congratulations. And Catherine eats now. Tell me. I can. Flower girl. How do you like it? Your plantain. I see you're bustling, you're bustling with your meat, huh? Lots of plantain. <laughs> wow, so you guys are getting married. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Thank you. I hope I get an invite, not just her. Of course. Do you need that invite? Do you need that? I just, you know, just making sure. <laughs> Tears away, hear you crying as you're 